Welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. I'm Krigo, and as you might have noticed yesterday, maybe it is not a Monday special anymore. It is a daily special. We are going to upload one of these episodes per day on, you know, uh, until we are completely done with it, or until we want to take a break from it, or anything happens, right? You know, we will see. I'm really looking forward to it. More, uh, more Hunter, more gameplay styles, you know, more rapid learning and getting more into the role of our hunter right with some humane kills and observations and stuff like that i'm really looking forward to it and uh today we are going to bone dwarf lake apparently but first i want to go actually up there because there's a watchtower and then we are going to move on to bone dwarf lake bean dwarf uh well bean village lake all right And we are very, very poor. I did buy some very expensive bolts. I wanted to test out this little big boy, what we got for free. Free scope, free uh, crossbow. And I have to say, though, if you don't like the game at all, you carry this one ar uh, around because you barely see anything from it, right, you know? Oh, by the way, I'm still sick, so if you hear me talking a little bit weird or, like, <clears throat> abrupt things, then you know that I'm choking on myself. So, yeah, you know, the thing, though, is that sounded kind of kind of big didn't it <laughs> choking on yourself anyways yeah don't carry this one around if you love the game because it takes so much of the screen away yeah and i'm not very fond of the handling of it either because the bow is way quicker the thing though with this one if you want to aim this happens yeah and then you can aim and zoom in it's, it, it, it is rather nice though right it is very nice i do love crossbows in real life and then you take it away and then that's it. The bolt loading and unloading I really do dislike because in real life you have safety mechanisms installed in the crossbow. At least if it's a proper one it is. But a mini crossbow for $30 you know you already have one installed right. So it's very important. Um, it makes everything way more secure. So yeah, you know, always get a crossbow with that because then you can preload it. But of course, it is always much smarter to just take the bolt out. It just takes way too long time. And by the way, the bow itself has 10 meters more range, if I'm not mistaken. Does it say here? Yeah, effective range 40 meters. That is not a lot though. And the bolt goes to the left, to the right up and down wherever he wants to go so be very careful when hunting with a crossbow but yeah that also means that we will have like three more episodes a week of the hunter instead of four per week we have seven per week and it also means that i'm not so under the pressure to to push me into advancing you know like climbing up here as an example or or sniping more than one creature at a time i can take my time a little bit more and it just feels more natural in this way after all we don't want to be in half a year in here uh in here's uh jaeger's grounds or hunting grounds we want to be somewhere else too at times right you know and go back and forth maybe revisit places but yeah you know a lot of pressure is gone. And look at this, boys. Is there something, uh, li uh, you know, like a collectible around here, I wonder? It can be anywhere and everywhere, I suppose. Oh my god, look at this view. This is beautiful. Alright, we are overlooking this place, huh? Oh, this is really beautiful. Britterstein is one of the most common starting points for hunting in the reserve. It is a good mix of open fields and deep forests. The large population of wild boar has called to hunters since the Middle Ages. Really, huh? Well, that's impressive since then. Ritterstein means like night stone or nightly stone. In Europe, by the way, um, I followed some of these paths for literally a couple of hundred kilometers at at a time um there are certain 
what's up big boy you're just laying down there crazy peggy okay whatever i suppose but the thing though is right you know there are certain paths through the mountains and forests that are dotted with tiny tiny stones with a cross on it or something like that right you know like a symbol of of a certain knightly group or uh, a patron saint you have some that has to do with the crusades and i did follow some of these paths man you know from mountains like this going up and down and stuff like that and after a week it was so often rainy right you know i had a very old looking poncho still and um i did i did not take the poncho off so when i went to tiny villages right you know tiny towns um there were people that actually thought i was a pilgrim or something right you know like a monk why do i pronounce it like that man my nose is so blocked right? you know like monk man like i'm a half a cow or something but anyways like a monk i was walking around he thought i was a pilgrim i believe because they have given me stuff for free you know like food sandwiches something to drink some dude even give me his dot and no, i'm kidding <laughs> some guy did even uh, give me some alcohol though i although i don't drink you know so i uh, i refuse that but man it's weird though <laughs> you know and i i smelled man you tried to walk two weeks you know somewhere it's crazy it is st stinky mid uh, you know in, in a while so after around nine days trying to find a location where i could just take a normal shower or anything of that sort i couldn't i just went and undressed myself and i went into the river to bath myself icy cold because it was at the end of august you know icy cold water my dude i was a racing if you know what i mean right you know half as a red deer sure thing but the thing though is there was a woman and i'm not making this up this sounds like a louis de Funet movie or whatever right but it was a woman oh look at those big boys what uh, f further away right you know enjoying the few oh she had to laugh though she thought she caught you know a pilgrim or whatever ah <laughs> oh, we could go for one of these big boys all right Doggo, you go down. Is that the poo poo of a of a boar? I think it is. You gotta be careful. Oh, yeah. Someone is listening there. Come here, little piggy. I mean, well, it depends on the shot but i will try to get at least two because there are many of them they are clustered in they are not too difficult although they are very tough right a lot of muscles with pigs we often think about fat boys and everything but no calm traveling we do not really see what skin fur type they have right that's a shame by the way That seems to be a nice one, though, I have to say. 86 trophy. Mm. 89. This one seems to be the big boy. Eighty six again. There is the big boy. 89. Is that an albino there on the background? Uh, no, it's a special one, I think, though, but not too special. Right in the lungs. 
Right in the lungs. Just to be sure, let's do it another time. All right. We could do more than just this, but let's not do it. Like I said, I don't feel the rush anymore to progress, to show you guys more content faster in four episodes a day. It's barely possible, right? You know, vital organ and this one non-final. Yeah, I thought so. The first shot was sadly in the back. Let's go rush after this one. Grab it fast and go to the other one. my big boy Ooh, not all too good but it's decent it's totally acceptable 144 for diamond huh 144 my 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 i mean that is not all too bad though i might say right you know it depends on the on the gun type and everything that we are using wait a minute are you still following that one, Peggy? Okay, that's nice. Let's go. Prosper pig pursuit tier one. Claim your robot by going to... Oh. I mean, that is nice. I do need some extra cash, right? Harvest any species of pig with a weight of 100 kilogram or more. Okay, I mean, we will probably have to do that. So, it's, it's piggy season, my boys. But you're... Hide your wives, hide your daughters. Kurigo is on the hunt, huh? Here it is. Good job, little Peggy. Good job. Ay, ay, ay. It's bronze. Yeah, totally. Ah. Uh, Ah. It must be this way. Still a little bit embarrassing, I have to say. Beautiful leg, isn't it? So relaxing. This game actually inspired me to study more bio biology. I know quite a bit of uh, human biology, anatomy, and physiology, but not of nature too much, you know, and of uh, animals. But I'm going back to the education banks, though, right? You know, I'm going to wait until the enrollment is in there, and then I'm going to, uh, yeah, do 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 some studies next to everything else. I mean, you know, if that isn't dedication, then I don't know what is, though. And it's not that we have to prove or dedication, but it's just something that I like to do. I don't like to do things half-assed, you know. So, imagine me, right, you know, doing a flight simulator. I might become a pilot one day, maybe, right? <laughs> Welcome to Corrigo Airlines. Fasten your belt. We are going to do a loop-de-loop. -loop. One can directly see that humans are here more often, right? Because of this little shack over there. There's something collectible there too. Jon's door. I don't know, man. Jon? Might be a name of someone, right? Let's go clap this one between the cheeks. There you go. Pick it up. Very nice. Oh, huh. a little X in the floor. I mean, not a very German thing to do. So maybe some uh, some special boy was here. Oh. Can we harvest this one? Maybe not. So let's just have it go away. Come on, little, little one. So yeah, we do need a three ammo for it, right? You know, and we have that over here, but it was only rank one, so that's not worth anything, sadly. Is this a fast travel location? Wait a minute, it is? Oh. You can find a charming fishing hut dating back to the early 1900s near the northwestern mountains 
by the Bone Dwarf Lake. Wait, from the early 1900s, nice. Then we do know that uh, a lot of history is here too, huh? So much did happen in the past century. Look at that one. Interesting. It did not show up directly, sadly, right? You know, when it did uh, the ee sound, so we scared it away. Or else we had another one on the plate. It doesn't seem like it's going to be easy to get over to the other side, right? Yeah, it's going to be very difficult. And at least until here or something, I don't see any crossover. Actually, till the first corners. Yeah. Till here, at least. Oh, my. Oh, we got a red deer, boys. Oh! Not the best. Ay, 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 ay. Would you guys believe me if I would slip there? I did, though. I did slip there. <laughs> Joking. I mean, you know, in game, of course. Yes, we did. But oh boy. I had him right in his chest and then his head went down. Trophy ruined, I suppose. Oh, final shot. What? Yeah, final shot. And oh my god, it was a good shot, though. I thought so already. Oh, but let's just hope that we shot it in the brain then, almost. Oh, no, then it will be instantly dead, right? Let's just hope that it died really quickly. Poor little thing, right, you know? Poor little thing if it was just in, in, the, in the head somewhere. But no, it's a vital hit. I knew it, though. I had a feeling. All right, big boy. Keep on running. I think it was one long, and that's it. After all, he still went far. The lung is slowly filling up, right, you know? Horrible way to go. That's why it's always best to have both lungs, or directly in the heart. Yeah, 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 little foxy. You can go away. Don't you worry. Oh, there it lies. There it lies. Oh, I'm curious. Yeah, one long. Oh, my God. We didn't even shoot from behind. That's what I mean, though, with this game, right? You know, sometimes it doesn't make too much sense. But it's kind of cute anyways. There we go, boys. There we go. Now, let's see. Please investigate the red deer's behavior by gathering some info in the area. I would like to do that, by the way. Well, we could not find a way over the road. I did change my gear. We went uh, away with the... Um, also, we say with the crossbow, right? We are now here somewhere else, as you can see clearly. We are at a hiking village right over here. We did uh, come here with the ATV. This is from the last Let's Play still, right? You know, we didn't kill anything right now. And we want to go here and we want to go there. But first, to the left one, because here's the objective a little bit closer by. The few that we have here. My dude. Look at that, right? It is absolutely fantastic, the few that we have. To the left, there are those windmills over there, right? You know, and all the other lights are, or cabins and whatnot. Over to the right, we have some, uh, the shooting range that we have not visited before. Um... And as you can see, a massive light over there. That are all the places that we do have, right, you know. But this is very incredible to see that from so far away. Because if we look, and we follow a straight line. We do see around here that house that I mentioned. But we can look all the way. And see all the way to this. You can see it's even glowing up. And that is the shooting range over here. It's really amazing. And if we jump, we do see it. I don't see it. There it is. Come on. Yeah, 
It's inside of the lungs. Yeah, you should be going right now. Come on. Apparently it's... Oh! What's going on? Don't tell me it's a bad shot again. Because then I know for a fact... Oh, there it is. Then I know for a fact, though, that this scope should not be on this rifle. You know what I mean? But oh, boy. There's nothing in here, I think. Let's just... We, we know where the body is. Don't worry about it. But let's just check right over here. Nothing inside. All right. That was kind of scary, though, if you think about it. It was very close, right? You know, without realizing it. I thought first it was Crazy Peggy, but... Oh, no. And here we are. Oh, man. I slowly start to think this scope is not the best to have around here. Wait a minute. Have we been over there? Yes, we have been. No, wait a minute. We have not been there. We have been to this one down there. Oh, that's so nice. That's very nice. Oh, want to go for road here. Come on, big boy. Let's see, though. Can come up from here. Can come up from anywhere. That's the danger about these little creatures, right? Oh. No, there was pollen. Hmm. Let's just wait here for a second. See if it's still around. Oh, it is around. One to the right, one to the left. Come on. I don't see you. Oh my god. Hopefully you don't smell the dog. Peggy, be quiet. It's still incoming though. <clears throat> I think it's trying to flank me though. Is it going away? There's still one from the ride. I'm certain if I move, they are gone. Hello? Come on, boys. I think we did see movement. There is movement.
I think one got away. The other one is right there. And that's about that, my boys. That's about that. At least we got one. I think the other one's the way. Oh, no wonder they were stuck here. Oh, my. Let's see. Okay, that's not bad, though. Not bad at all. Ooh, Connie? Wait a minute. Connie. What did we do for you? Summer's, uh, Summer's happy again. How about trying a handgun hunt? It's not easy. We might actually be doing that. Harvest any animal down with a blah, 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 blah. We might just be doing that rather soon, right? You know? Another roe deer. Come on. I'm actually off the tracks a little bit. As you can see, I want to make a little shortcut. Hmm, but not necessarily a good idea, right? Because whatever we see right now... There it is. It's just holding our progress too. But that's fun, right? That's the beautiful thing about night hunting. You guys even see something. There is one. Eh, 59 trophy. Good night. Sleep tight. And thank you for the beautiful position. The other one did not run away. I did still hear him walk. Well, trot. Look at you. Nice, nice, nice. Silver. Not bad, not bad. 81 for diamond. I want at least one. Why keep shooting this? Even though I said I will not go for the road deer if I don't have to. Because I want to have a diamond one. A diamond little road deer. And I do need more money because if I get a diamond one, I want to taxidermy it. Right? A red deer mating call. I mean, we are getting busy here, right? You know? Mm. Lie down. The problem with this one, though, is that we don't see it. And if we see it, it might be too late, you know? They are pretty smart. Very skittish. And a hell of an alert. Okay, mating call, call back. Very nice, a response. It is dark though, so they should not be able to see me too much. By the way, next to the to the heart, there's a little symbol there. What does that mean? Right, right between the sound and the heart uh, measurement. Okay, the wind is coming from opposite side of me. Okay, I do hear footsteps. This is great. But the weird thing though is... It always hears it's all around me. It always sounds like it. I think it... Uh, it didn't want to join anymore. Not sure what's going on, you know? We have been here for a very, very long time, waiting in ambush. Maybe I should have gone this way, you know, like, uh, maybe I came too close. There are lots of maybe babies, but at this point we don't know for sure. 
it is nervous i understand but you don't have to be though you're just going to see the dear creator or maker that's about it peggy lay down up there it is it came back Looks like it's going around with its mouth open right like uh, trophy rating zero just let it be trophy rating of a zero doesn't mean anything right you know if we are going for diamonds so let's not do it we got our one little lucky little row there very lucky indeed and here we are my boys and girls Let's have a little camping here. I totally will have that, right? You know? The only thing that I worry for these little things is though... Even we might be in the wild. <laughs> it's other humans, you know? It's always other humans, isn't it? We kind of want to go back there. Hmm. But we will go like uh, from here, there, back, up there. But we will do so in the next episode. So by that, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful time. Let's not go down there. And I will see you guys then. Stay happy, stay healthy. And I will see you guys then. Bye-bye. Nothing, dear.